Okay, so Tal, this tip is about learning to defend both sides. Here's how it works. We know that the human brain has a tendency to A, develop a belief system, and then defend that belief system. And the way it works is that we pay less attention to new information that seems to contradict what we believe in, and we pay more attention to information that reinforces what we believe in. The professional name for this is confirmation bias. Now, that's very dangerous because in today's world, things move and change very quickly. We have to be able to adapt our point of view. If we constantly defend an existing point of view, even though it's wrong, or even though it was right at one point but is no longer relevant, we will be less successful and possibly less happy. And so my recommendation to you now is to do two things in order to minimize the effects of confirmation bias on you over the years. Number one, read sources of information that contradict what you believe in. Let's say you support a certain politician. Go and find people, bloggers, analysts, who are writing positive things about the other politician and read that material. Or maybe they're writing bad things about the politician you support. Read it. Let's say you believe in a certain policy. Find the voices that don't believe in that policy, that believe in an opposite policy. Read what they have to say. Have conversations with those people. Try to listen as much as you can. Learn what they're saying. Doesn't mean you have to agree with them. But I want you to make sure that you are exposing yourself proactively to information that otherwise you will naturally pay less attention to because of the confirmation bias. So that's step number one of neutralizing this dangerous bias. Here's step number two. I want you to learn to make the same arguments being made by the people who don't agree with you. And I want you to learn to make these arguments even more powerful than how they are doing it. So if you believe in a certain policy, I want you to be able to come up with arguments and reinforce them with supporting data that actually directly contradicts what you believe in. Why is this going to be valuable for you? So first of all, because it will help you protect yourself at least partially from the confirmation bias and make you a better decision maker. But it will also improve your persuasion capabilities. Because if after you expose yourself to these different sources of information and have truly given them attention and consideration, if you still believe your original point of view and now you want to convince other people that you're right, knowing what they think, knowing the arguments that challenge your point of view will make you a much more powerful persuader when you actually have these conversations with them. So my tip to you is do everything you can to minimize and possibly neutralize the confirmation bias.